All right, guys. So I keep thinking the Concord drama is over and there just keeps appearing new episodes to this drama. I think this is probably the final one other than them officially announcing that it's never coming back would be my guess. But we have some crazy news as to how much of a loss this was for Sony. And this number is bigger. Uh, it's far more humongous than I would have ever dreamed. And so this is coming to us from Forbes. I'll link the article down below. Uh, but they say this quote, it seems obvious that Sony was going to take a huge loss on Concord given its high costs, immediate disastrous player count and unprecedented shutdown. But it may be even worse than everyone thought. A new report from Sacred Symbols, Colin Moriarty, who previously was an insider in the video game industry, citing a source that worked on Concord claims that the game had a higher budget than anyone envisioned, a full $400 million broken up into two halves of development. And I'm going to end the quote there. Um, what? $400 million. Now, here's the thing. You might think, oh, pixelated that's because they bought the studio no 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 that's not it this game cost sony 400 million dollars not including them buying the studio not including the advertising for the game not including any of those things just the amount of money it took for them to make the game cost over 400 million dollars and this insider also states that the game before it reached alpha to get to its alpha state to get to a playable state cost 200 million dollars and then they added 200 million dollars more now <clears throat> for contrast if you're someone who's like not in the gaming world and you think wow it's a lot of money but surely like games like the last of us and like god of war cost similarly let me tell you the last of us part two which is one of sony's most expensive games that they've ever created was their frontline big triple a game for the ps4 era cost sony 220 million dollars to make let that sink in concord cost sony almost double what the last of us part two cost sony to make what what <laughs> what what is going on with this story how did this happen how what kind of paychecks were these people taking home at the end of the day it doesn't make there's no world where i look at concord and think that this game costs double what The Last of Us Part 2 costs in order for them to make it function. What? And this may explain why maybe some of the Sony executives are no longer Sony executives and aren't on staff anymore because a, a colossal failure of this magnitude, not only spending $400 million on this, but in addition to that, purchasing an entire studio for this game that you thought that was such a slam dunk, an overwatch essentially knock off and you were willing to allow them to spend 400 million dollars and thought that you were going to be able to recoup that cost on an ip that is not a proven ip that is, i'm just so baffled i have no idea how this even happened like the amount of incompetence to the people or like out of touchness with the gaming community to think that that was reasonable and was something that don't worry guys we'll make our money back like that that would happen is absurd and here's the thing here's the thing so usually flop games the people working on it know it's a flop and are kind of braced for it and you'll have them leak to insiders like yeah we kind of knew that by the time we got to the point of the final version of this game we're like ah oh, this is not what we envisioned this is not going to land well apparently for concord this whole thing has been like a shock to them that they are shocked that this wasn't a mega hit and that they weren't just bringing in billions and raking it in which to me i'm baffled but yeah that's concord 
this the plot just keeps thickening so i want to know what you guys think head down to the comment section down below let me know your thoughts um when you hear that sony spent over 400 million dollars just to create this game not even to advertise it and to buy the studio what are your thoughts on that how do you think it's even possible that Sony thought that spending double the budget of The Last of Us Part 2 made any sense on this game? I just have so many questions. It's a good thing Astro Bot came out because between the PS5 and Concord, this whole summer has been like Sony's worst nightmare. And if it wasn't for Astro Bot, there would be no bright side <laughs> right now behind closed doors at Sony. I just have so many questions, but... With all that, like, comment, subscribe, all that junk. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it's not about Concord. This, this is over. But it just keeps getting crazier.